Uh, what I'm going to try to do uh, in this video is just show you how to uh, to go about putting this uh, drone together. I'm not a great DIYer myself, uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing just how this works uh, and you know, easy or hard. I'm going to show you everything. So, uh, what I've done is started by reading the instructions. Always very important. Read the instructions. If you think you can do it, you probably can, but still read the instructions because it's important and you might miss something. Uh, I've gone around, I've gotten the things that I need. I've got my solder here, uh, soldering gun, soldering iron, not gun, soldering iron. Uh, I'm going to have a uh, little pair of needle nose pliers. I do have a little pair of snippers and I have got a small little ruler here. Uh, it measures in millimeters and that's what one of the instructions are there. So that's what I have for tools. Uh, uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and tilt the camera down and uh, we'll start putting parts out and seeing where I can go with this. So here we go. All right, so the first thing I need to do is I'm going to get out that little motherboard. When you're doing a project like this, it's always important to try to have yourself a clean uh, workspace, an area where you can kind of spread things out. There we go. Victory. Voila. So here's the piece that we're going to be working with. This is the motherboard. So if we look at the destructions, and I'll go ahead and turn them so that it's going to be... So what I want to do is set it up so that it's pretty much the same position as the it shows on the uh, directions there. And we're talking about our LEDs. I need the, the red LED and then I need the white LEDs. You, you have to understand that there's a polarity to the LEDs. Uh, you must get the positive into the positive side and the negative into the negative side. Now, it's hard to see, um, but if you look real close, you'll see a plus and a minus. Nah, not true. It's too hard to do that. So what they've done is, if you look right here, you'll see that one of the tips is longer than the other tip on the LED. So, the longer tip is the positive. That's how they've worked it out for us here. So, when we're putting the LEDs into the spots that they belong to on the motherboard, um, we always need to make sure that the longer one is in the positive and the shorter one is in the negative. So, that's basically what we're going to do there. They want the red one to be 7 millimeters. Like I said, I'm new at this stuff, so I'm no expert by any means, and and uh, I want everybody to realize that. So that looks like it's too long, so I'm going to shorten that up a little bit to the end of the LED. It looks like I have one, two, three, four, five six seven right there so all i'm going to do is just put a right angle on that that's seven millimeters so if you see what i've done i've just kind of put a right angle on that at seven millimeters and what i'm going to do is make sure that i get the long in the positive and then we'll put it down in here and that's kind of how that's going to sit. And I'm going to try my first solder. One thing that I have to be careful of is that I do not cross solder these things. So what I'm seeing here is there's the gold there and the gold there and I cannot let the solder cross or I'm going to lose that connection. So you can also see that there's a plus and a minus on the back side. That way if you have any issues it's easy enough to, to um, know whether you've made the right placement. And the longer one is there. 
So I'm gonna get the things that burn out of the way. I'm gonna put this kind of right there. I want that to be in there nice and neat. I'm using a really small gauge of solder. Um, I'm just more comfortable with it. I'm afraid I'll get things too hot if I go too fast. Uh, I also have a wet paper towel. I've got that here if I need to clean the tip of my solder gun. Um, again, I'm not a professional, so I don't know if this is the right way to do it, but this is the way I'm doing it. Solder and gun down there, and remember it's hot. I'm going to just look at it and see. I think it looks like it's a good solder. I don't know how if you can tell. It might be a little bit uh, out of focus. So once you get that in, then you take your little snippers here. And get right down there by the bottom and give it a snip. There's one side down and there's the other side gone. So that's where we're at right there. We've got the first part of this nice little rig done. Uh, and now what I'll do is go ahead and get the other LEDs and we're going to go ahead and try that. If we look at our instructions now, here's our white LEDs. If we look at our instructions now, what our instructions are telling us to do is um, put our four white LEDs over here. It wants us to measure them out at 12 millimeters. So that's what I'm going to do first is I'll take the 12 millimeters, I'll bend all four of them and then we'll go from there. So now if you look, I basically have all my white LEDs with the same bend uh, at 12 millimeters and now I'm going to go ahead and start soldering those in. Again on the instructions it shows you right on the corners here. Uh, I always try to position the motherboard in the same position as I see it on the instructions. So what I've got is the on and off switch right up here. So I can tell that it's going to be these corners here and these corners here. Uh, so let's go ahead and start doing that. Remember again with the positive and the negatives, the positive is the longer of the two leads. And you want to make sure that that goes in the right hole. Voila! So there's our LEDs and then we just have to go and clip these ends off here. There we go. First part of this puzzle is done. What we're going to do is uh, move on to the next part of the puzzle. All right, so the next step. Uh, again, we're going to show you we've got the LEDs in there. The next step, we're going to go ahead and put the motors in. And that's going to be on the other side here. If you look, you've got the contacts right here. And it says M2 plus minus right here, M1 plus minus. So we have two different types of motors. We have the M1 and the M2. Uh, so it shows us right here. There's no holes going through like there was for the LEDs. So we flip the board over. So here's what we did originally. Here's the back side where we're going to work on it, right here, 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 and here. We're going to leave this in the position that I like to leave it in for the directions. It shows that the antenna for the unit is going to just be folded up out of the way. And this is how it is. Let's get into our box. 
And we're going to take our packages of motors out. Here's motor one. Excuse me. And here's motor two. So let's go ahead and start with motor one. Here's the motor right here. If you look right here, it's very clear to say that the red connector is the positive and the black connector is the negative. So motor one, red M1 plus and black M1 negative. So that's what we're going to do. There's my second motor soldered in. So I have both my motor ones in. So now what I'm going to do is put the spare motor one away because I don't want to get it confused with anything. I'm going to go ahead and break it out. And the other way that you can tell, here's motor two, is that motor two, they've given you different colored wires. So I'm going to pull out motor two. And on motor two in the instructions, you can see clearly here, motor two, white equals M2 plus. And there you go. So I've got the motors attached, all four of them. We've got the LEDs attached, all five of them. We've done this part. It's going to tell me to go ahead and connect the battery. And there we go. Battery is officially hooked up. All right, look at that. Ha <laughs> ha! They're all working. I love it. All right, I'm going to turn that off because we don't want to get anything else. But yes, woo! The next step, which is right here, which is actually putting the unit into the body. And there's the body. Okay, so I've got a screwdriver here. Um, we're going to take this apart comes off pretty easy it's just kind of pushed in before you put any of the screws in and we're gonna work with the base the base shows you here as I'm figuring this out I want you to notice there are some bigger pegs here what's gonna happen is that this motherboard here is gonna sit down and and the holes that you see right here not the outside holes but the inside holes that's what's gonna um, that's what these plastic pegs are gonna fit up through so when you push this down in, um, you're going to notice that there's a square notch here and a round notch here. And what that's designed to hold is this is the on off switch, which is the square notch and the charging port, which is the round switch. So when you go ahead and put it in, make sure you've got your motors on both sides. I'm on the pegs on the back side and I'm on the pegs in the front side. If I'm looking, see it wants me to bend the LEDs out around. So there we have that. Now what we're going to do is just take the motors. Twist the wires a little bit. And push the motors in here. You want to make sure that both wires go in and push them right to the bottom. that stage is done all right so now we're gonna go ahead and put the top on so we've got everything in there 
you have to make sure so here's the LED the red LED so when we put the top on there's a little notch in the top cover so when you put that on make sure that it's where it needs to be so that it's going to take care of that red LED and then we just snap this bad boy together and we're going to screw this bad boy down All right, so there's eight of the screws that go in there. Just take your time, make sure that you get them in there snugged up. And then this is basically what you're gonna look at right here. So we've got her together for the most part. Then the next step, suspension pads. So we'll take the suspension pads out. Suspension pads are in. Okay, so at this point, we've got this all taken care of. Uh, the last thing we have to do is put the propellers on. So you're going to notice that we have propellers A and propellers B. So it shows us propeller A, B, and propeller B and A. So what I'm going to do is I've got this set up so that the R is facing the exact same way. So I've got everything going the way I want to. That means this one's going to have a propeller A. This one's going to have a propeller B. This one's going to have a propeller B, and this one's going to have a propeller A. So here we go. Right there is the finished product. That is the drone that we've built today. First thing I'm going to do is turn this on. Oh, and you can see it's blinking, so that means that we've got power there. We're going to turn it on here. Oh, solid lights. Oh, look at that. Yay. Okay. So there. Yay. We've done everything right. The next video is going to be me trying to fly this bad boy. I think that's going to be harder than it was to put it together. Thanks a lot. Uh, Take care and happy flying. Bye-bye.